In today's video, I discover an unexpected surprise inside my 10 gallon fish tank. Plus, I make another big addition to my kitchen counter aquarium. Hello and welcome to Tank Tales, a beginner's guide to aquariums, aquaponics, and fish tank fun. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you're notified each and every time I publish a new video. In last week's episode of Tank Tales, I added two new Golden Wonder Killifish to my 10 gallon kitchen counter aquarium. And even though I was nervous about releasing these two large fish into my tank filled with little guppies and catfish, it turns out that there was really nothing to worry about. The killifish have paid almost no attention to the other fish in the tank, but the larger of the two killifish has been picking on the little one, especially around feeding time, forcing the smaller of the two to retreat to various corners of the tank in hiding. So everything's been going quite swimmingly since the killifish were introduced to the aquarium. But then, this morning, as soon as I woke up and walked into my kitchen, I could tell that something was seriously wrong. There, in the far right hand corner of my tank, was a small stationary orange dot. My second twin guppy was dead. My first orange guppy died when I moved him into his newly decorated home. And now, just a few days later, my second orange guppy had died in almost the exact same way. Why was this happening? And would my third guppy be in danger of dying soon as well? Or even worse, are all of my fish gonna die in a similar manner? What is it that could have caused these two small fish to die? Was it the water temperature, the pH, the food, bacteria in the tank or on other fish? There could be a million reasons why my original two fish were now dead. This is honestly one of the reasons I didn't want to get fish at all and why I originally wanted to just get an aquarium for growing plants. I didn't want to have to deal with the fish dying and the horrible thought that I might be to blame for their deaths. I can see now why people become enthusiastic about owning fish and starting an at-home aquarium, but then quickly give up on the hobby once their fish perish. I wanted to make sure that my remaining fish were healthy and weren't going to die, so I waited more than a week before doing anything to my aquarium other than feeding the fish I already had. But after more than a week had passed, I made a return visit to my local pet store and picked up three more fish to join my two Pandacory catfish, my two Golden Wonder killifish, and my two blue snails inside my kitchen counter aquarium. The Serpe tetra, also known as Jewel tetra, is a species of tropical freshwater fish native to the Amazon River drainage in Brazil, Peru, Paraguay, Bolivia, and Northern Argentina. Serpe tetra can grow to be five centimeters or about two inches in length. They have very distinctive coloring with a red body and a black spot near their eye. They are omnivores and will feed on fish flakes or blood worms. So I picked up some blood worms from my local pet store and began feeding them to my new tetra, only to discover that my killifish and guppy like them as well. In next week's episode, I score a 10 gallon aquarium and a whole host of fish tank supplies and decorations on Facebook Marketplace. Plus, I order an assortment of live aquarium plants on Amazon.com and have them shipped directly to my home. Did you enjoy this video about my very first fish tank? I hope you did, and I can't wait for you to see next week's episode. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to smash that subscribe button and the bell icon now so you get notified each time I publish a new video. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. That really does a lot to help me out, and I appreciate your support very much. Plus, I've created a hidden cookie of a video here which you can watch if you want to see exclusive extended play footage of my three new Serpe Tetra swimming about in their new home and interacting with the rest of the fish and snails inside my kitchen counter aquarium. If there was a product featured in today's video that you'd like to learn more about or possibly even purchase for yourself, be sure to check the links in the video description below. I've added links to where you can buy the glass aquarium, the water filters, the fish food, the tank decorations, and even the plastic plants you see in my videos in the description down below. 
And did you know, I have a website too. It's called tanktales.com and it contains links to all of my videos, plus a ton of articles and information on how you can start your very own fish tank, aquarium, or at-home aquaponics setup. Just go to tank-tales.com right now to check it out for yourself. And now, it's time for the Tank Tales Question of the Week. I've had two of my guppies die now, but the rest of my fish and snails seem to be doing just fine. Why do you think my first two guppies died? And what can I do in the future to make sure that no more animals under my care perish in a similar way? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel as I plan on adding new videos on a regular basis.